So, you know, when I think about springtime, I think about all the flowers coming up, the fresh smells in the air, the warm sunshine, and the beautiful butterflies that always emerge in the spring. So I thought a fun craft to go along with today's story would be to make a fun 3D-like butterfly and a basket of paper tulips, because the beautiful thing about paper tulips is they don't die. It's always sad when the tulip bulbs at the end of this short but beautiful season when they fade away and you have to wait a whole year to see them again. But if we make paper ones, we can enjoy them all year round. And for kids that are looking for um, a fun craft to make for their moms or grandmothers or uh, special loved ones for Mother's Day, this would be a really fun one to do. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna make our easier craft for the younger kids first. This is gonna be our 3D butterfly. And if you come down to the Herb Memorial Library, we have these craft kits all ready to go for you to take home. If you're not able to make it down, that's okay. You can still make this craft at home. You're just gonna need a few supplies. And first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to print off or freehand draw a butterfly template. You can get these um, off the internet. Just Google image butterfly clip art outline and there's about a million of them. And pick one you like and print it off. And then you're going to need um, all kinds of paper because this is a very heavy paper like project. So you're going to need a large sheet of light colored construction paper. We picked blue. And then you're going to need um, the color that you want for your butterfly. In our sample here, we went with purple, and for the one we're gonna make in the video, we're going to go with pink. Um, then you're going to need all kinds of scrap paper. So as you can see, you're gonna to have to make circles out of for the spots on your butterfly. And you're going to need some cardstock. This, by the way, the one for your butterfly is out of cardstock, but the circles you're gonna cut is just plain colored paper. So you're gonna need construction paper, cardstock paper, and colored paper. And, um, and then for the body of the butterfly, you need a contrasting color. Um, at the library, we've sent home these, um, these one and a half by, uh, I think they're mm, eight inch strips. And you want to um, cut these into fourths. And we've kind of done a sample of that for you here. When they're all cut, this is what they look like. And then for here, you need to roll them all up into little cylinders like so. And then take some tape or glue, whichever you prefer, and seal it shut. Try to make sure that they're all the same size as the others. So for some of you kiddos out there who don't like to get glue on your hands, this is um, your kind of craft. Although eventually you are gonna need to use a glue stick. So then the next step you need to do is to take your, your template and you want to either um, Cut it out of the white paper and then trace it on your colored paper or just hold it on top of colored paper like this and hold your scissors and cut around the outline all the way around so that you have a lovely get my stickers off butterfly shape just like that now on our sample one that we did here we didn't bother to cut out the tail and the head part here because we're making that with our 3d body um, you can do that if you wish, or as we did in this example, we left it. And here is where the body of your butterfly is going to go, just right on top. So it doesn't matter if it's there or not. So you're going to want to glue your butterfly onto your paper. Um, you can either use school glue, or you can use um, a glue stick, whichever you prefer. And when you're gluing, you want to make sure though, that you don't glue along the edges of the butterfly. You only want to do the center of your butterfly here. And I think my glue stick's just about gone. And right like that. And then we're going to flip it over and push down. The reason you don't want to glue the edges of the wings is because we're going to be folding them up here soon when we're all done. And I just dropped my glue stick. Okay. Okay, so now you've got them glued on here. And now we can take our school glue, because you're gonna want this for this part. You wanna make sure that your body stays on really good. So you're gonna wanna run a bead of glue really um, thick and heavyish along the middle here. And then just line up your body into your pieces like this. You're going to want to let this dry. Make sure they're straight. And then 
and just let that dry like so. So while it's drying, we can work on the circles. And with your colored paper now, you have options. You can trace out the circles, find a small bottle, like a little bottle of nail polish it works perfect. Just put it on the paper and trace around the base of it. Or if you happen to have a um, hole punch like this, a circle hole punch, this is a one inch hole punch. You can just use that to stick inside your paper and punch out all the holes that you need. Um, so we did that on a bunch of contrasting colors. We used yellow, orange, green, and blue. And then we even cut out some pink and here's an example where Miss Corey was feeling kind of tired and lazy and didn't feel like going to look for one more color. So she took that nail polish and she painted the pink circles so that they glitter. Isn't that cool? And with glittery circles, they make a nice contrasting color. And so we're just going to go ahead and glue those circles onto the center of our blue circle here. And that makes a nice contrasting color. Um, pattern for our butterfly and then we can do the same thing here we have some large green circles and we punched out some orange circles and we're gonna put those on top as well and the beautiful thing about butterflies is that they're symmetrical so we're gonna have to do that again for every one you have to have a second one so you can teach your preschoolers all about symmetry and how beautiful our world is um, when it's balanced and we can put these pink ones on here as well and then I also punched out some green circles to put blue on just kind of mix it up a little bit and one more green with blue and then I punched out some plain orange circles and I went ahead and I put some um, sparkly glitter nail polish on that as well. And then we have a few extra circles because we got kind of circle happy with our punching and that's okay too. So now that our butterfly is mostly dry, we can start adding our decor to him. And remember what we do on one side, we have to do to the other. So if I want to take my, um, my green, we'll pattern them out first. Let's take a look, see what we like here. We could put the blue up here and we could put this one there. And then on the opposite side to make a match, we could do that. And then we could put another one like down here in the corner maybe and then we could put maybe some just plain yellow dots here and maybe our sparkly orange ones could go like right there what do you think camera guy do you like that does that work we're getting a head nod yeah i think that'll work okay so we're going to go ahead and glue our spots on then just down and you don't need a ton of glue, just enough to make them stick. Like this. And like this. And like this. And then we'll do the same on the other side. And you know what, camera guy? You know what I forgot to add? We forgot to add the antenna, so we'll do that real quick here too. That won't take real long because we're almost done. And butterflies need their antennas. Okay. And last one, boom, just like that. So then also in your kit, you're going to find um, a pipe cleaner. And I'm not, here it is. And the pipe cleaner then, you want to fold in half, just like that, and then you want to twist it really tightly at the bottom here so that you get a good, secure twist on it. Just put your fingers together and then twist it, like you would a bread bag twist. And then you want to take a pencil or a paintbrush or an ink pen 
and you want to wrap the ends around it into a spiral all the way down to the bottom and pull the pen out. And then do the same here with the other side. And twist. And then pull it out like that. And then here again too, for all of our non-blue liking friends, we're just going to attach this with tape. So if you remember, unlike me, you can do that before you put the body down. That's great. If you didn't remember, but that works too, see? And then we got our body on here. So the last thing we have to glue on to our butterfly are his eyes. And in the library kits, we have these really cute colored eyes. But if you don't have colored eyes, you just have plain googly eyes. Those are fine too. And if you don't have googly eyes, you can just use marker and draw your butterfly's eyes on like so. And then last but not least, you're also going to need a red marker. So you're going to need a smile to make a smiley face for your very happy butterfly. And we will put a smile on him like so. Oh, I'm having trouble drawing upside down. But that's okay. Maybe he's not really sure about his world here. There, we gave him a little smile. And there you have your butterfly. Now, to make him even more 3D, Take the edges of your wings and very gently curl them up so he looks like he's getting ready to fly right off the paper. And you can do it with the bottom wings too. You just kind of want to run your fingers under the edge and pinch them up like you would a pie crust so that he kind of comes off the paper a little bit. You don't have to do this step. If you like him laying flat up against the bottom of the paper, you can do that. But otherwise, come along and make sure you get the bottom and the top wings. Because again, butterflies are symmetrical. So what you do on one side, you have to do to the other. There, and there you have it, your 3D butterfly. And you can make him as creative or as funky as you like. Look how different our two different samples turned out. They're very cute, both of them, and they're both very springy, which is super fun. So the next thing that we're gonna work on is how to make our tulip um, paper basket. So we're gonna move our butterflies out of the way and put them over here. Now to make the tulip basket, again, if you come into the Herm Memorial Library, we have a kit all prepared for you. Inside that kit, you'll find uh, two pipe cleaners or Chanel sticks, however you like to refer to them. We also have um, tissue paper in there. We've given you some scraps paper sheets and a tulip template. And we've even given you a flower box for a vase. If you can't make it into the library, you can still make this craft at home. You just need to um, trace out um, copies of a tulip bulb. Um, you're going to need a vase of some sort. You can either make a paper basket vase. That's all that these are made out of a, a thicker kind of um, uh, cardboardy like paper or you can also use a baby food jar or even a paper cup like a Dixie cup would work just as well you might want to take a few moments at the beginning to decorate your vase maybe you want to wrap some ribbon around it or put some stickers on it since the ones that we provided are already pre-printed with colors on it we're just gonna skip that step and we're gonna set our vase our basket off to one side um, so the next step you need to do is we have to cut out of our scrapbook paper all of our tulip flower heads. And this is probably the most time consuming step. And the fastest way that we found to do it is to take your template and cut out a four square of tulips and then lay them onto your paper with all four sheets that we provided you stacked up together and then cut along the outside of each tulip head so that when you're all done, you end up with this, and this, and this, and this. Because what you actually have to make is 16 different tulip heads. They all, so you have four of each of the same color. If you want to make more than four tulips in your vase, you can, but then you just have to cut out four more of each color of whatever scrapbook paper or colored paper you have. You can also just color that template if you like, 
I'll make a copy of it and color it with designs and everything on it. Um, and then use that to cut out to make your tulip heads. You don't have to use the scrapbook paper if you don't want to, or if you don't have it, that works too. I've also seen it done cutely with um, colored comic pages from newspapers. So that would also work. So the next step you need to take then is to take your first tulip head. And we're gonna take the red one and separate it from all of our others and set them off to one side. And then we have to vent, you wanna fold them in half with the printed side on the inside. And you want to go ahead and fold all four of them because what we're going to be doing is gluing them together with the non-printed sides together like so. And that's what gives it a 3D look. So we're going to fold them all in half. And then the other thing you're going to need is your flower stem. So you're going to need your pipe cleaner. We gave you two. You want to simply fold them in half, make sure that they're even on the ends, and then just take your scissors and cut them in half. Okay, so here's where you're going to want to use your glue stick again or your uh, school glue. I like a glue stick because school glue can wrinkle paper. And you just want to glue one side of the tulip really well and then line it up with the other one just like that. Kind of lay them flat up against each other so that the one side sticks really good together. And then fold them again and glue that side again. And then take a, a third one and glue that on that half piece like so. Kind of line them up again and fold it in half again. Before you do this step though, now we have to add our our pipe cleaner stick, we're gonna take just a small piece of tape to secure him to the inside here. You lay him right in there in the middle, right along the seam. And you just wanna secure that with a good piece of tape. And then go ahead and glue, and glue your next tulip head on top, making sure he's nice and flat. And then when you're confident it's in a good spot, then you want to glue on this side and glue it shut like that. Then open your tulip back up. And you should have a four-sided tulip. Now, if you'd like to trim some of the edges so that it's not showing the white pieces, I recommend that. And we're gonna go ahead and pause the video here so I can make the other three remaining tulips for you. And I'll show you how to assemble them into the flower pot. Go. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and made all four of our tulip template flowers. And they turned out kind of cute. And the other thing you can do is you can adjust the length of your stems if you want to make one stick out more than the other. Um, don't cut your stems evenly. Make one longer than the other and make them short. I wanted mine all about the same length, so I cut them all evenly. And then you got some green uh, tissue paper in your craft kit with us. Um, if you didn't get your kit from us, you can use whatever you want to stuff inside of here. If you want to use stones or um, uh, other uh, grassy-like material, you can use that. Or just plain old tissue paper because that's a nice um, stuffing filling. You just want to take a little bit of it and put it in the bottom to give yourself um, some filler there to help the flowers sit nice and tight in there. Um, I have seen some videos where people will go ahead and twist the bottom of these into a stand-like circle so that they stand up a little bit better on their own. You can do it that way if you like. Um, or you can take all the flowers and you can twist them all together to make them into a bouquet that kind of sticks together um, with themselves. Um, and that was the method that I used. I just went ahead and twisted them all together um, until they were all around themselves. And then we'll just go ahead and add this one here. It'll be a little bit smaller than the others. And then I took a, a sheet of tissue paper. I folded it in on itself, and then I folded it in on itself again, like this. And I cut off the corner. That gives you a nice hole in the middle. And that can help you slide your tulips through. And then you can put them inside of your basket. Arrange them as you see fit. And then you can tuck this green tissue paper in and around them and that will hold them nice and secure for you. 
And there you have it, your own little paper tulip flower basket. If your bottom seems to be popping out a little bit, you can secure that with tape so that they don't fall over. So we have a nice flat, even bottom space. Um, that kind of keeps that up and helps it from falling over. And there you have it, your nice little tulips, paper tulips in a basket. Isn't that kind of cute? And it reminds me of spring every time I look at it. So I hope you enjoyed our springtime crafts today. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye.